Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Monday today, but you'll see this on Tuesday. Yes, welcome to Tuesday, and welcome to, as you can tell by us being in the car, and you guys might even recognize the building at this point. Uh, I'm in the bins. Welcome to a bin surf with us, which, did you go last? Yeah, you, no. I went. You didn't go last I week. I didn't go last week. I had the Tuesday before that off, so I went that day by myself, and I did quite well. Yes, but we're finally back together at the bins, and we actually drove together this time, because I know the last surf with us, we drove separately. I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I hope I find like something really good. I was gonna say my time. oh yeah, so weird funny story. Last night when I was sleeping, I had a dream that we were at the bins and it was like really realistic. Like all our bins friends that are always here were here. And I found a Tory Birch like maroon puffer vest mm -hmm. and a pair of Gucci kids like nylon rain boot type situation. So I don't know where that came from hmm. okay, or why, cool. but that's a very like random two things. I have no idea where that came from. But my goals for today are once again to find some like academia. Yes. And then I still really am like going for that like gothic y punk type stuff. Whether it's all the girly stuff. Not, yeah, that's all the girly stuff. For. Absolutely. What are you looking for? I need to get my hair done. I need to get my roots done, but I don't want to pay for it. So I'm going to try to get things to take to Play Doh. Oh, I was like, what are you To make <laughs> money to get my roots done. What else do I need? I need like sweaters, jeans, booties, the fall essentials. Mm -hmm. Um, Some designer would not be, would not be scoffed mm -hmm. at. And as usual, it'd be fun to find one of the Bola brands from one of our yes. recent below oh my God, that, that would just so be like nice. really cool we're gonna see what turns out either what we're hoping for or my weird dream so let's go hopefully we find something let's <laughs> go right away i spotted these monster monster high sheets but unfortunately the monster high sheets do not do as well as the old dolls so i skipped them and in the next bin over, I found this herky University of Iowa plushie that's super vintage. That's where Ryan's sister goes, so I threw it to Ryan. And right under herky was this vintage patchwork hippie kind of jacket that I know Ryan has really good luck with on Depop, so another thing for Ryan. I promise I'm in the clothing bins. I don't know why I keep finding things, but now I found this Hoppy Halloween vintage Halloween pot hot pad, so <laughs> I'm going home with this. Finally, a piece of clothing for me to sell, this Camo Athleta. I know it's a bit faded, but that is fine with me. This always happens with Athleta for some reason. The first thing I got to pick up for me personally to sell was this really cute, vibrant, kind of like a pastel, almost a canary yellow. Um, I see these kind of Chanel sweaters do super good on Depop all the time, so I figured I would try my hand at one. Initially this morning, the clothing was definitely not the best, so I meandered over to the shoes and I found this one really pretty Sorel shoe. I did not end up finding the other one, unfortunately. I totally would have gotten these little vintage candies kitten heels, but unfortunately the heel was destroyed. And these brat style silver mega platform sandals are taking me back to the 90s. I love them so much. Let's do a little cart update, shall we? This is my Google Pile. First brand, it came up to be like kind of just an REI, like TJ Maxx situation. This I'm actually super excited to look for. It's a Claire V and Tom, which I didn't know that she ever did a collab with Tom's, but I'm very excited to now know. Um, this next piece is a, I think the brand's called Follow or Furrow, Faro. It's just a fast fashion brand, really wasn't anything spectacular. This falls into that same category. I think it was like Cold Collective, if I can like show you the tag. Okay, here we go. It is cold culture, and it is not anything. <laughs> I also found this adorable little velvet velour kind of embroidered little mini bag for Depop. These always do super well over there for me. The girlies love to take them to their little formal events. I got a couple of hats just to look up. This was like a vintage 1960s, 1970s little pillbox hat. I ended up throwing that back just because they really didn't do that well. This brand, I don't really know where it was from. I couldn't really find anything about it. Um, it felt like a nice cowboy hat, but I ended up throwing it behind. This Corona Mexico bag, I would have gotten if there wasn't the biggest ink stain on the inside. So that unfortunately got thrown back. This is in that same category. Unfortunately, there is a pretty large stain in that little cherry bag. And then this um, apartment nine skirt had a massive stain on the inside as well. So I'm kind of like striking out for a couple of rounds today. And my luck changed. I found this Dale of Norway, 100% authentic, unisex little, I think it's an ear band thing, like a little head warmer that you kind of Velcro around your head. Um, I am very excited to find this. My dad is a huge Dale Norway fan, so this could be a Christmas gift, but it'll probably be sold. Don't ever let Jack say I never give him anything. 
I spotted a kooky piece, but unfortunately it's a pair of jeans, which I know do not do as good as the sweaters. I also found this cashmere plaid scarf, and it's actually J. Crew 100% cashmere, so this is perfect for the season. I am definitely gonna be getting this. I've only been through like two rows, yet I already have this big of a Google pile. They are switching out a new row now, so it's time to Google some things. These fleecy skull pajama pants turned out to just be a Walmart brand from back in the day, so I passed on those. They were also boys. This was a Gap piece from 2021, so I considered it, but it was petite, and also the comps just looked not that good, but here is the date on it. I found a handful of Madewell pieces, including this one, and best of all, in this switch out, I nabbed this Burberry, Burberry's vintage coat that is white and kind of like a mid-hip hitting trench. Also, honestly even better, I found this vintage patchwork Orvis wool blazer sweater. I'm so tempted to keep this, but honestly with the sweater sleeves, I don't picture myself wearing it too much, so I'll probably sell it. Again, with the sweater collar and sweater sleeves, I just don't picture wearing it that much, but isn't it so amazing? And after a switch out, here's what we got. These kind of hurt my soul to pick up, but it's a pair of low rise flare, kind of like farmery wash, true religion jeans. Um, these kill me because when I used to work at Plato's Closet, this was like, the poster child for do not take. So we've come full circle. Um, this t-shirt I was gonna get, but I didn't realize the graphic was actually like really peeling off. So that unfortunately did not get picked up. These chaps, the zipper was broken, which this is going straight to my father. It is a, a 1989 Herky the Hawk go Hawkeyes, little mascot stuffed animal. My sister goes to Iowa. He's a big Iowa fan. Match made in heaven. Bins first. It's my first time finding a Skims piece at the bins. I'm super excited, but it kind of terrifies me that this is a large extra large. This is definitely one of the cutest things I've found at the bins in a while. It's a wool rich little dog sweater. How cute is this? It's green wool, but I think it'll be too small for Mike, which is so sad. After the most recent switch out, I did find myself an Arc'teryx jacket. I literally cannot explain to you how excited I am for this. These jackets retail for $800. I absolutely love it, and I definitely can see myself wearing that all the time, especially here in Minnesota. Then Jack handed me this t-shirt. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it yet or if I'm gonna sell it. It's an Urban Outfitters, kind of like over-dyed, screen-printed t-shirt. I have a few of these, and I love them. They wash super well, especially like when I go to school and get paint on them which is super nice, um, so that might stay. This he also handed me, it's a Lulu's dress. It was this really pretty white lace, but unfortunately there was just a little bit too much makeup on the inside, really, so I did end up throwing this back. But I did come, however, find this absolutely adorable, super trendy, new tag Lulu's dress that I am more than happy to sell myself. Let's do another cart update. So most of what you see here is actually um, future paint shirts from my classroom because they do not have any. So where's the best place to get them is the bins. This is a really cute um, JCPenney kind of like thermal top. These do so good on Depop, this print especially. I'm so excited about it. This is a really, really cute, really chunky knit Christmas sweater that I'm kind of excited to try this season. This is just a pair of Fabletics leggings. They were in with some other nicer athletic wear stuff, so I'll check. This is a pair of Gymshark. Um, these I think I ended up passing on because they were just really pilly. I just wanted to show you guys this t-shirt. I thought this was so funny. This Ralph Lauren, I really was upset about having to pass on. Unfortunately, it just did have some really massive pit stains and also like a little bit of an odor, so that definitely got thrown back. This did not, however. This is a Glossier sweatshirt. I think this is a makeup company or skincare company. I honestly don't know, but I see a ton of people wearing these sweatshirts all the time. There's a teeny little stain in the front, but I have a sneaking suspicion. I can use a little bit of OxyClean and get that right out. This is a really, really cute pair of vintage pants. I love the style of these with this cute little like tapery paper bag waist looking thing, very Stranger Things. And I loved that they have this kind of like bleached broken in look. More paint shirts. This next hat is quite possibly one of my most Y2K hats I've ever seen in my entire life. It's this monster kind of like really early 2000s hat. I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait to put that on Depop. This is a really cute pair of Zara jeans. Most Zara I don't get, but I will consider picking up the jeans. I ended up passing on this pair of Pakistan pants just because of some internal staining. <laughs> 
This vintage dog sweater is so Michael Simon. It is not actually by Michael Simon, but even the buttons are dogs and bones. It's by Storybook Sweaters. Um, I'm definitely gonna get it. It's a bit heavy, which is unfortunate, but I'm still totally gonna get it. This sweater is from the 60s. It's called Jack's Winter. It is so nice, and I love this like bobbly, chunky knit. Oh my gosh, guys, another luxury find. I thought this might be what it is, and it is what I thought. It's a Missoni Home Chevron printed bath towel. Ryan has a Missoni bath robe, so this will match perfectly. Of course, I grabbed this 1983 Wilton pumpkin jack-o'-lantern cake shaper and these Levi's 501S's. I still am obsessed with the 501 Levi's. They do so well. And a cherry on top for me, I found these Patagonia swim shorts with alligators all over them and they're my size. I love these things. These pants stuck out to me, of course, because look at these colors. I thought they'd maybe be Lily Pulitzer, but they're Anthropology with Sisters Gyasa, which I've never heard of, but they're so pretty and I have a feeling they could be rare, possibly. Another super fun print, this coffee and tea print vintage blouse I'm absolutely gonna grab. And then these two vintage pieces are for Ryan if he wants them. I also, of course, am stocking up on the Vintage Academia. I've actually had good luck finding that today. When I spotted this, I did not have any idea it would be a free people piece. This is a vintage free people satin printed skirt. I just gotta fix the zipper. I think this will do so well. Okay, so this really cute little vintage Minnesota apron is actually a gift. Um, one of my teacher friends, one of the other new teachers in my school is the fax teacher, the family and consumer technologies teacher. We have become very close over the years, so I'm gonna give this to her. Let's see what Jack gave me. He gave me this really, really cute vintage kind of like f very flowy, very drapey lingerie tank top. These do so good for me on Depop. I price them at like 30 to $35 every time and they fly out of my little store. This Massimo micro mini skirt is also for Depop. I just love the fact that I can still sell these and get $35, $40 in some cases. This is probably gonna be for Debbie. She does a lot with Fabletics and some of the kind of like lower tier athletic brands and she moves them quite quickly, so I'll probably give that to her. These Hawaiian shirts are more paint shirts. I did double check though to see if they were made in Hawaii before sacrificing them to the wolves. Um, this very beautiful vintage dress, these colors are perfect for fall. Whenever I find art books like these in the bins, I do love to pick them up. My bins only charges me by the inch for books, so this book cost me like $1.25 or $1.50 because it was an inch and a half tall. Um, but these paintings are super good to have as like class references. I absolutely love having these in my classroom. Okay, let's do another cart update. First, I have this really cute pair of J. Crew shoes. They were in the dust bag still, but they unfortunately were not in the best condition, so I threw them back. This really cute like lace kind of like a 90s Y2K moment for Depop. I did unfortunately end up throwing this back because I noticed it was missing some of the snaps on the back that connected that like back strap. Some more really cute little Depop things, some fun boutique things, and here's the current state of my cart. It's overflowing. And after that last switch out, I found this Carbon to Cobalt, which is a men's brand. I've only sold this brand a couple times before, but historically it has sold for very decent money, like a good bread and butter, 25 to $35, and it has sold very quick which I very much appreciate. And then I found this vintage graphic Walt Disney t-shirt. And then going back to the shoes, I found this really fun, amazing vintage Mia shoe and this really cute blue Tory Burch flat. An update on the Claire V Toms. I did win a coin toss and I thankfully was able to get the other one. Alrighty, time for another switch out. The switch outs get a little violent now because they've gotten rid of all of the rules at our bins, so there's no longer one person per bin. I snatched these high rise classic Zara jeans that I'm actually going to give to Debbie, but they're super nice and actually really nice denim. I also found this Carrots brand hat. It looks like his dog might have chewed it a little, but I'm gonna give this to Ryan if he wants to sell it or wants to keep it. 
I found these two beautiful leather coats. The first one is by Colebrook, and it feels like lamb leather, but it just says leather, but I have a feeling it's lamb leather. It is so soft. I'm gonna get this one because it is a bit lighter, but the second one is a Worthington lamb leather long coat. If it was a trench, I would get it for myself, but since it's just a longer coat, I'm gonna skip it because it's so heavy. More vintage academia pieces. This first one is actually a wool plaid vest by Bridgetown. I have never got this brand before, but I can tell this is vintage and it's 100% wool. And I think it is very cute and a bit more fitted. So I think that'll do good on Depop. And then this is a super vintage houndstooth coat. This one's actually really lightweight. So this was a total grab. About two years ago, I would get a pair of Levi's like this to sell myself. They're high rise, but they're skinny. Nowadays, since they're skinny, I still grab them, but I bring them to the consignment store instead of selling them myself. So into the consignment pile, they go. This is a red Dachshund graphic sweater by the brand Jules. I think it is so adorable, and Jules can do really well when it's cutesy like this. Right next to it, I found this pair of American Eagle Dachshund sweatpants, and I'm assuming it's from the same person. I'm always on the lookout in the book section for cool coffee table books or spooky books. I only found this little kid's Halloween one this time. Now I'm finally packing up my stuff. This is consignment and this is for Debbie and this is all for me to sell. I would have totally gotten these pretty little thing pants. They gave me very like Christina Aguilera from back in the day vibes, but they had this weird like pleather transfer on them. So I did unfortunately end up throwing those back. Jack did give me this amazing carrots hat. If you don't know this brand, it's kind of like a moderner, more modern, like newer streetwear brand. Um, I personally love their stuff. So I was super excited to have that. Then I found this very, very, very beautiful. I thought it was going to be a Dale Norway and I was pushing my luck because I found the headband, but it was an LL Bean 100% virgin wool sweater. It was absolutely beautiful. And these colors are perfect. Hello everybody, it is Editing Jack here. So we didn't really film an outro. I know we always like forget to do outros on the bin swift with us. I think because we're just so tired by the end and usually starving, so we just don't think of it. But I want to tell you guys a little quick weird story or add on to my story from the beginning before I say goodbye here. Remember how I said in the beginning that the night before the bins, I had a dream that we went to the bins, I found some like nylon, Gucci winter boots for kids and I found a Tory Burch vest. So a really weird coinky dink that I just wanted to point out. In my dream, I forgot to tell you guys this part. I told Ryan though. In my dream, I kept losing my cart. Like someone kept stealing it from me. So like I found these good things. I put them in my cart and I'd turn around and my cart would just be gone. And then I would have to get a new cart and I would start looking again. So I had a dream that I found a Tory Burch vest. Tory Burch, puffer vest, what a weird thing. Put it in my cart and my cart was stolen. If you guys were reading the screen while watching, Ryan was showing off those shoes he found and he found a Tory Burch flat, a blue Tory Burch flat, and it was stolen from his cart. We have never ever at our bins, either of us, experienced getting something stolen. And I also have never had a dream of being at the bins. <laughs> so the fact that I dreamt about finding Tory Burch and having it stolen, and then Ryan, in real life, the next day, found a Tory Burch item and had it stolen. I just think that's a little weird. I know it's comparing like a maroon vest to a blue Tory Burch flat, and obviously I'm sure there's nothing connecting these two things, but I just thought that was like really weird, so I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Anyways, I guess I will let you guys go now. I see this video was about 18 minutes, so I hope that was long enough. It's really hard to gauge how much footage we're getting when we're taking these. We try to do like a certain one of clips in hopes that like it adds up to be enough footage, but I think like 18 minutes is okay. I think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We found obviously a lot more stuff than what you just saw in these clips. So we will be having a haul on Thursday where we are going to show off all of the items we found, which we're super excited about. There were a couple luxury items, which I feel like we haven't had in a while. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And then some really, really good vintage once again. So we will see you guys on Thursday for the haul. Ryan is teaching right now. So it's just me saying goodbye, but maybe I can get Mike. Mike, come here. So that at least someone else can say goodbye to you guys. I feel like a podcaster. We have a microphone now for doing voiceover because we're so bougie. I feel like I'm like doing a podcast. Mike, come be on my podcast. Okay. So from Mike and I, 
Mike and Ike, Mike and Jack. We will see you guys on Thursday for a haul of what we found. <laughs> Goodbye.